Buongiorno, everybody. Buongiorno. Welcome to Confessions of a Late Bloomer. Hey, do I have a lady for you today? I'm going to talk to you about Claire Peller, born on August 4th, 1902 in Chicago, Illinois, my hometown, that toddling town. Claire lived most of her early life in Chicago and married a local jeweler at 20. So what does that make it like 1922? I mean, really tough times. Al Capone is in Chicago at that time. We have, you know, lots of women don't have much rights. They were considered property still at that time. So this little lady is pretty amazing And when you hear her story. The couple had two children, and then they divorced eight years later. Completely unheard of in, in those time period. People, women did not get divorced. They didn't have any rights to get divorced. So Claire worked as a manicurist for 35 years at a Chicago beauty salon. Then after that, she moved to a North Shore apartment to be closer to her daughter after she retired. Well, she was hired by a tempor as a temporary manicurist for a TV commercial set in a Chicago barber shop. The agency that made the the commercial was so impressed by Claire, her little Chicago moxie. You know, she was only four foot 10 inches tall, but she has a very gruff voice and she had the Chicago moxie, is what I like to call it, uh, that they signed her up as an actress. Very cool, right? So she actually became a surprise celebrity in her early 80s. With her delightful, cankerous voice, she was extreme, did extremely funny and did great commercials. And you're probably gonna remember this one. She did, Where's the Beef? That was her claim to fame. Where's the Beef? Spots helped win these. Fast food chain see a 30% increase in profits in just one year. Pretty amazing for that time, you know, in the 80s. Okay. She capitalized on her newfound fame and by making guest appearances all over the place like she did a 1986 paper, uh, pay-per-view cable TV event, WrestleMania 2. She did remote control, TV series, Amazing Stories, uh, Violations, and The Stuff. She also cut a little 45. Do you remember 45s? You probably don't look it up. Google what a 45 was. It's a little tiny record where she's, where where Where's the Beef was written and recorded by uh, Coyote McLeod. And it was she actually got to say her little signature line on that song. In addition to items um, that were spin-offs, she had coffee cups. She had beach towels, uh, skirts, board games, and even a Claire Peller doll. You know you've made it when they make a doll about you. So she was nevertheless, after all that success, she was fired by Wendy's. She was fired because she took another jog with a spaghetti sauce company where she said, I found it, I found the beef. And Wendy said, the only place she can find the beef is at Wendy's. So they fired her. Well, that never let that hold her back. She went on to do some more things and was very successful. In fact, she was so successful that at her death, she was worth a million dollars from 80 to 85. She was worth a million dollars. Now that is pretty, pretty cool. She died, when did she die here? She died in 1987. So that million dollars is probably worth a little, you know, if you adjusted for inflation, a couple million dollars now. Um, she, that was amazing. That is totally amazing. She really loved doing her acting. She found her bliss at 80, so never give up. And on her gravestone, this is kind of neat, her children said, beloved mother, grandmother, and talented actress. This lady lived right up to the last moment, and that means you can too. So please let me know how you're doing, what you think, what you're having trouble with, how can we help? We can start a support group. I want to see late bloomers bloom, because it's a great thing. I'll talk to you soon. Look forward to next week. Bye-bye.